What's going on, guys? Tower number nine here. We are one and one in this draft, and we're in the third round. My opponent just won the roll to go first, and we're gonna see whether or not I can uh, see whether or not I can get the win to go two and one overall for this draft. Uh, the other games should already be uploaded if you want to check those out. Had a uh, my first round, I won very convincingly. Second round, I lost a close uh, a close one and two, and in the last game, my opponent made a very risky play, but it paid off and got him the win. And we were discussing it afterwards, and he actually told me that he thought if he didn't hit, um, yeah, this is an interesting hand. He told me after the game that he thought if he didn't hit uh, a man, I think I mulligan this going second. If he didn't hit the specific card that he hit off a top deck, that he would have lost the game. So, you know, I don't feel too bad about losing there, but very interesting scenario. Um, I think we resource the Dispatcher here, given that we're going second and the Battlefield Marine is a great starting play. Opponents on Tarkin um, leads off with a Stormtrooper. We're going to play the Battlefield Marine. Interestingly, initiative taken, no Tarkin ability used. Might just be looking for a direct trade. So we can do Dispatcher here, but we could also do Consortium Star Viper. He does have a... We both have 25 HP bases. Interestingly, there are a lot of rare bases in this draft, I think. Um, I can make an opening if he attacks my base. I probably want to do Star Viper this turn. Okay. Okay, a little odd. Um, I'm going to hit his base. He plays a cell block guard. Um, so I can make an opening here. I can play my star viper. Yeah, we're going to make an opening. Kill that. Heal two. He takes initiative, then we're going to pass. Okay. Okay, we have a vanquish. So vanquish gives me a potential counter for his... Uh, for his cell block guard. So if he buffs his cell block guard, what I can do is Bright Hope. I can do Bright Hope, withdraw my Battlefield Marine, and then vanquish it on the next turn. So that I think might be what we end up doing, depending on his play. Doesn't go for that. Ooh, he's going for a tie advance, which is an even bigger buff for the cell block guard. Um, so that sets me up actually even more for the play that I was wanting to do anyway, which is Bright Hope, withdraw the Battlefield Marine, draw a card. Hits me for five. We're going to take initiative here. Take down. Nice. Another counter and a resupply, which goes to resource. That Bright Hope giving some nice card advantage. We're going to lead off with Bright Hope removing the tie advanced before he can potentially buff it. He could Tarkin Town my Bright Hope, which would kill it. That's a highly valid play. I'm hoping he gets greedy and buffs the cell block guard more. It looks like he's paying three for a general veer is nice. So he did uh did go for kind of a greedier play. Um so we will counter with I think we use the takedown here. Yeah, so we're gonna take down uh cell block guard off the board. Oh whoops, he has that, yeah. <laughs> Vanquish the cell block guard off the board. I'm asking if that's cool because it is technically a misplay or whatever. It's not responding. I'm assuming it's cool or he would tell me to stop. Actually, we'll ask him on the on voice. Hey, uh, just to be clear, that vanquish instead of takedown, you're cool with that? Okay, cool. He was, in fact, okay with it. Okay, so then he plays uh, Tarkin. I have Leia. Uh, Leia defeats Veers. That means that Tarkin no longer has a buff target unless he plays something else. And then he's going to play... Ooh, nice one. Snowtrooper Lieutenant to allow... This is a really good play. So he can attack with Tarkin and give him plus two, which allows him to actually defeat Leia in one hit and buff the Snowtrooper Lieutenant. Really strong play from my opponent there. That was cool. 
So I'm, I'm going to just take the initiative here, um, draw up, nice. We have some nice removal. I'm actually feeling pretty good overall. Palace, kill Tarkin, draw a card. So Callus here, ambush, and when, when another unique unit is defeated, you may draw a card. Use this ability only once each round. So that allowed him to ambush in, defeat Tarkin, and draw me a card. I have a huge card advantage now over my opponent. Um, I have six cards in hand, whereas my opponent has only uh, three. So he plays fifth brother. Uh, what I'm going to do here is actually use my security complex to shield Callus. He hits my base for three. I'm going to take initiative. And he plays a cell block guard. Nice. Zinu, look at chat. So let's see here. I'm going to, we have a lot of options. Um, Okay, so then um, let's see here. We're going to ready up. So he has the cell block guard blocking my ability to just kill Callus directly, or to kill Fifth Brother directly. So we're going to use the takedown take down on Fifth Bro. That will then trigger Callus and draw me a card. You don't have to defeat the unit with Callus. You just have to defeat a, unit while, a unique while Callus is on the board. I am getting a little low on base HP, which is kind of my main concern here. But I can kill his cell block guard this turn if he doesn't kill Callus somehow. Ooh, max firepower. Nice one. So he gets to... So this... Uh, he'll deal damage equal to its power with one and then the other. So the first one breaks the shield. The second one will defeat him. So now my Callus is off the board, which I really don't like. Um, I'm going to play... Do I Consortium Star Viper here? Or do I try to delay him with the clouds? The Cloud City Wingard only delays one attack. Um, in let I don't have the resource for the moment of peace. So what we're going to have to do is play the we're going to have to play the Consortium Star Viper here, which can attack into his base and heal. He uses that to buff that guy. We take initiative, and then I take seven. The damage is really adding up on base. We have an overwhelming card advantage here, but we have to actually. We have to actually get stable so that we can win this. So we're going to resource, I think, the Battlefield Marine here. So we're going to lead off with a uh, Vanquish on the Cell Block Guard, get that guy off the field. That removes a bunch of incoming damage. Hopefully he can't counter the Star Viper and we get some Restore this turn. Tag, giving an Experience Token to his Trooper. Um, so we can... We could Cloud City Wingard, which would prevent that from hitting base. We can source some Star Viper here first. That's going to be three damage to base and two healing for me, since I have the initiative. He just goes for direct damage. I think we play. I think we play the Wingard here. I don't know what his last card is. That's the issue. He, oh, and he, and he is going to play a card. It's an expensive card. It's an ATST. That is very scary. So I'm going to take initiative here and draw up. Nice. Okay, we have more Sentinels. We have more Sentinels. We don't have a Vanquish or anything to stop the ATST, but we can Moment of Peace to shield the Wingard, which will stop the ATST in a sense. He has the initiative, though, so Star Viper isn't healing. Oh, but we can do Cargo Juggernaut to heal, so that's seven resources. And then we would have two remaining. So probably we resource this Dodonna, and that gives us resources to play Devotion on the Star Viper. So we lead off with Moment of Peace, shielding the Wingard to prevent an immediate high-impact hit. Oh, man, that's bad. Star Viper taking out the... Uh, or Interceptor taking out our Star Viper. Do not like that. 
Cargo Juggernaut comes in shielded and heals the base for four because I control another uh, Vigilance unit. We're clinging to life here, just barely. It's in a very dangerous spot. He buffs, uh, so he buffs Tag. I will counter by buffing my Wing Guard with Devotion. So now the Wing Guard has Restore 2 and is 3-5, three, three, which means Tag cannot just wipe the shield off it and uh, remain alive. He knocks the shield off there. So I can kill Tag here and Restore 2. That's what we do. So kill Tag restore two, and then he can kill my unit with the ATST and also deal four to base, which is harsh, but it will it will set him up set him up to in turn be removed by my juggernaut. Okay. Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight. Yeah baby, that's what we need. That's what we need. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can do Luke plus if I resource this academy training, I can also play another wing guard or something. So we're going to have, uh, we'll lead off with the juggernaut taking out the ATST, losing its shield. Base gets hit for four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight, taking out the Imperial Interceptor. And he has restore three. We're trying to get stable. It's close. Oh, he's got something big. Six resources. I don't know what it is, but I'm scared. Ooh, aggression. Not a... Uh, I don't think that's actually any good here. Okay, he doesn't play aggression. Okay, he just takes initiative. So what we're going to do here is play out the wing guard to prevent him from making a direct attack on base. And then we're going to pass draw up. And I think we don't resource it this. Do we resource this guy? 5, 8, 11, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we resource the vanguard infantry who's really bad. And now we have 11 resources so we can play this full hand if needed. This is a close game. Oh, he's got something huge. Let's see what he's got. Is it Emperor Palpatine? Emperor Palpatine. He gets to deal six damage. What's he gonna how's he gonna deal that damage? So probably the wing guard dies, or he could kill my juggernaut, so he kills the wing guard. And then two to Luke, maybe? Two to Luke. Okay, so that does, however, set me up to do um Okay, so I could do I can trade Luke for the Emperor, or I could have no, we're going to have, ooh, yeah, we're going to have Luke kill the guy there taking four, so that puts Luke at six, but it repairs my base for three. He can buff the Emperor up to a seven, seven, that's what he's going to do. So then we're going to play the Vigilant Honor Guards, who are another, who have another Sentinel unit for me to prevent him from making a direct attack on my base. He takes the initiative. We're going to play the Consortium Star Viper as well. We're actually not going to play this Echo Base Defender because if he, if I do, he can do more Overwhelm damage to my base by attacking it instead of the guards. And then we're going to hit the base for four with the Cargo Juggernaut, and then we pass. Uh, these cards will stay in hand. No resourcing at this phase in the game. And let's see. What I really hope is that he does not have Overwhelming Barrage. Uh, if he has Overwhelming Barrage, he can probably just win the game here. Um, but hopefully he doesn't have that. That's a very, very, very strong card in uh, in both constructed and and limited, and could be devastating here. We'll see what happens. Oh, so he ends up, he ends up resourcing one more. Okay, we're in the real crazy end game scenario with very strong units being played. He's paying six for something. Could be another ATST maybe. Nope, rethinking it. Let's see what he's doing. 
Yeah, six for something. H-E-S-T, Gladiator, Star Destroyer, could be a, um, a okay, so it's a aggression, four damage to that unit and draw a card. Okay, so he's basically making it so that I no longer have a Sentinel. Um, we will counter with the uh, Echo Base Defender uh, becoming a new Sentinel to hold off Palpatine. And he's going to swing in there. That's going to be nine total damage. So the uh, this guy is killed, and the base will take six. Luckily, my healing means that this isn't lethal. Um, so then he takes four. And now I think we're poised to win the game. So what we're going to do is just start cleaning things up. We'll do, um, we'll do uh, Luke into base for six, heal three. Then we'll do... Um, Emperor has, yeah, so he has three life remaining? That's interesting. So let's see, I uh, he has nine life remaining and I actually have lethal on the board. Um, so I can just swing into his base and win unless he can control me somehow. And I can also trade and take control of the board otherwise. So I think I'm in a very good spot here. Ooh, keep fighting. Okay, readying his Snowtrooper Lieutenant. The problem with readying the Lieutenant is that it doesn't actually do anything for him because it can't kill my base, can't kill my uh, my stuff. I'm, I, I just push for base and I'm going to be able to win this turn. So he has a ready Snowtrooper Lieutenant. He can kill Luke or he can do two more to my base. But But I've recovered enough. So I just swing in here and win. Okay, so he calls it there a good game. So we got the win. Um, that was, uh, yeah, that was a solid win there for game one. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, step away for a moment. Yeah, and I will be right back. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, we are back.
All right, we're back. We're on round two. Nice. Opponent leads off with a tie. That means we get to do Alliance Dispatcher. He's going to buff his tie. I'm going to take the initiative. So we get to uh, use the Alliance Dispatcher to play a system patrol craft for one less. Veers, okay. Um, security complex shielding the system patrol craft so it can now sweep that tie. He takes the initiative. We're going to go ahead and draw. Resupply, so that could bring us... So a resupply could bring us Leia out this turn. Bright Hope is the other big option here. We're going to resource this guy and see where see how we do. Good chance he uses Veers to kill my uh, dispatcher, of course, but that's just kind of how that goes. Yeah, dead. Dead. Probably He probably should have buffed with Tarkin first so that it would be out of range of that um, with Veers on the field. Okay, so then he has cell block guard. Don't love it. So if I resupply into... I think I do still want to resupply into Leia and then kill the cell block guard. He buffs the cell block guard. I deploy Leia. Leia takes out the cell block guard. Oh, yeah, no, actually, Leia doesn't take out the cell, the cell block guard. Leia uh, hits the, the cell block guard, guard, actually, and he's still alive. I miscalculated that. I, I probably should actually not have done this at all. I didn't realize uh, Veers had the buff there. I should have played uh, I should have played Bright Hope this turn and waited for Veers to be cleared. The good, the good news now is that I can potentially two for one him, depending on how this goes exactly. But if he's playing smart, he'll use the cell block guard to kill Leia, and I'll, I've gotten a lot less value out of my leader than I was hoping. Okay, so he takes the initiative. We're going to draw up. Nice, Luke. That's a good card to see. Uh, the fact that we resupply does mean we're now at six resources, which means we can start hitting cargo juggernauts, um, which are going to be quite relevant just as big bully units. Um, let's see what happens here. So probably if he's smart, he'll use... Well, I don't I don't know. He, he could have a lot of plays here. But um, so, so cell block guard, uh, cell block guard trade with Leia is probably his best play. No, it's into the base. Or, okay, he's, he's thinking about it. So if he hits the base, the thing is I can two for one in by killing Veers with Vanquish. Um, if he hits Leia, it yeah. So that, that's a much that's a smarter play in my opinion. It prevents him from getting two for one. Um, so then Leia defeated. Both of these are uh, have expired basically. System patrol craft into the base for three. What I'm hoping to do is get him to attack my base with something. Yeah. So he hits my base for three. And now we Cargo Juggernaut and heal the base for three. So I got the heal out of the Cargo Juggernaut by waiting. It might have been better for him for to use Veers first. But now he's going to play something else. Colonel Yularian healing his base for one. When you play a command unit, including this one, heal one damage from your base. Now I'm going to take the initiative. He still has his Tarkin Town unused, which is a major threat. And we see a fifth brother hitting the field here as well. Very threatening, especially with Tarkin Town. Uh, Tarkin himself now on the field swings in two to the base and probably going to buff fifth brother. Yep, that's exactly right. So then we're going to say, okay, and we've taken the initiative. We're going to see how it goes. Dispatcher's a resource at this point. We can play Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight, who's going to be potentially really strong. Um, we have another cargo juggernaut as well. So what we need to do is get rid of Veers. He doesn't have any vehicles, so a snowspeeder ambush isn't that valuable. Cargo juggernaut will just take out Veers, losing only a shield. That debuffs the rest of his force here. Um, we do also have a Vanquish as well in case he has something really buffed. Um, we're going to see whether or not he is targeting my units or whether he's targeting the base here. If he targets the units, it will enable Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight to hit him harder. Um, so he goes for base with... Okay, so he does one damage there and then he'll hit for four. Uh, could, be, could be worse. Um, so I can play Luke... Doesn't kill that guy. Snowspeeder to kill Snowspeeder to kill Yularen is actually pretty reasonable here. Um, so Snowspeeder killing Yularen denies him a unit for Tarkin to buff that gets to fight this turn. I think that's what we're gonna do here. So Snowspeeder killing Yularen. 
And then also the snow speeder now has four HP, so it's not in range of his Tarkin Town. We've been skirting around the ranges of his Tarkin Town, so Tarkin Town can deal three damage to a damaged non-leader unit. But I have this one has five HP and this has four, so I'm just out of range in both cases. Kind of an annoying situation for my opponent, maybe. We'll see what he has though. Six cost could be an ATST. Exactly what we see. ATST weak to snow speeder though. Uh base for three with the system patrol craft. Arguably, I should just take the initiative there, but I think he's likely to attack with Tarkin. If he doesn't attack with Tarkin, because the thing is, so so he can attack with Tarkin. No, he's gonna Tarkin town the cargo juggernaut. Okay, that's odd. I'm gonna take initiative. Uh, okay, so he's, he's got to go away for a sec. Sorry, one sec. Thought that was a four four. Okay, so he's gonna undo that. Okay, so he hits the base for two and buffs his buffs his ATAT, -AT, but we're still taking initiative. So he's he's or buffs his ATST rather. So he's played into the snow speeder. This rarely comes up. Um, but he has played into the snow speeder. And so what we're going to do here is probably resource that. Wait, no, hang on. Three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do here is snow speeder can swing for three. So snow speeder hits Tarkin for three and exhausts the ATST. So on attack, attack an enemy vehicle ground unit. Uh, this almost never does anything, but it's really, really good in this specific situation. So three to Tarkin, and we exhaust this, and we exhaust the ATST. Okay, so he's paying two for something. Academy training, maybe? Okay, so it looks like he was going to do that, but he's maybe balking. Academy training on Tarkin. Oh, I should have sideboarded in my confiscate for this, shouldn't I? That was a mistake. But the, the good news is that he didn't do something um, that strong. Cargo Juggernaut kills fifth brother, taking three damage in return. Tarkin has six HP left, but I haven't lost a unit for Luke. Tag doesn't do anything because he doesn't have any troopers. I don't care. Swing, swing for three. I'm hoping he kills one of my units here so I can Jedi Luke to kill his Tarkin. If he doesn't kill my Snowspeeder this turn, I get to exhaust his ATSC again, which is ridiculous. But he can target town either of my ground units at this point. I have a big card advantage on him, and I have Jedi Luke, which is putting me in probably a good spot. Tarkin town, probably killing the. We'll see which one he kills. Well, maybe he, he looks like he's rethinking. Tarkin swing to kill the snow speeder. Okay. So that puts Tarkin up to six. So I think we have eight resources. Yeah. So I think what we're actually going to do. We can vanquish the ATST. No, it's got to be Jedi Luke. Jedi Luke, kill Tarkin. If he doesn't just take the initiative, I get to vanquish the ATST and it doesn't do anything. Now he Tarkin towns me, kills the cargo juggernaut. That's fine. I take initiative. So now I get to deal with the ATST. So he draws, I draw. Okay, these are good cards. I don't know that I want a resource at this point. I don't think I do. So what we're going to do is vanquish vanquish the ATST. Still have three resources for making an opening or oh, okay, so he has that guy attacking to Luke. Um Luke will attack the base and heal my base for three. He's gonna do Palpatine to kill Luke now. Yeah, Palpatine kills Luke. Um okay, so it kills Luke and then does two to the system patrol craft. Okay. So then 
system patrol craft hits the base for three. I think he probably takes initiative. And then we're going to play out our battlefield marine here. And then we're going to pass, draw up. Okay, so this takedown can kill... What, how can we add on resources? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably resource to Donna. So he has the he has uh, Palpatine kill the Marine and deal three overwhelm damage to my base. So now we can take down Palpatine. First, what we're going to want to do is it or uh, yeah, first we attack with the system patrol craft. Ooh, the occupier siege tank. Not really a good card, but like. You know, it's a it's a card that that can hit the field at least and has big stats. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm I'm going to try to make him waste a resource on buffing. Um, let's see here. That one has grit. Yeah, we're going to do take down plus honor guards, but we're going to play the honor guards first um, in the hopes that that I can see more info on what he's doing. And then use the takedown more strategically. Basic tie. Um, so we can do, yeah, so we'll do takedown Palpatine. Palpatine off the board. Man, this is honestly, I feel like the deck that I'm using is a very, very strong draft deck. So he's going to use Tarkin to buff his guy there. I'm going to go ahead and take the initiative. Sadly, System Patrolcraft is not a rebel, or I could just win. He also plays a trooper. Okay. Oh, but I can just win, because I have a fleet lieutenant. There we go. Nice draw. Ready up, and fleet lieutenant into the base. GG. So we did it. Conv uh, convincing win there. After a... Uh... <laughs> just throwing my guy around the board. That was a good game. So that was a uh, convincing win there in the second game after a much closer first game. Uh, ultimately, we go two and one for the draft uh, with a close round with a close round two, uh, one and two loss. I'm very satisfied with this performance. I feel like this was a very strong, uh, very strong draft deck, but uh, you know, have to see how it goes. That's that's uh, that's an, a, another set of draft games here recorded for you. Uh, and thanks to you all for watching. We will be back later with some more Star Wars Unlimited content. I will catch you guys later.